Today is going to be an exciting video. I'm going to show you all of the hair care products that I use each and every day. So if you're interested in learning what I use in my salon on my clients, stay tuned. Alright you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sharina Cole and today I'm going to be doing a really fun video. I thought this would be a good idea to show you guys the products that I use each and every day. If you are new here, I am a licensed cosmetologist and I own my own hair salon, Sharina Cole Salon LLC. So I decided to show you all of the products that I use each and every day. These are like my go-to products, the products that I use on all of my clients, my most used products and the products that I have to replace at least once a month. So let's jump into all of the products. I'm not going to show you the products in any particular order. I'm just going to grab them out the bag, tell you what I use them for, and we'll just jump right in. Okay, so the first product I'm going to be showing you is by Nairobi. This is their Curling Wax. This is their Curl and Shine Styling Wax, but I use this on my clients if I'm doing a hair service called Press and Curl. Press and Curl is when you use a hot comb and you are straightening the hair with heat styling and then you curl and style afterwards. When you use it, it helps to straighten the hair. It is a thermal styler, so it helps to protect the hair and also gives the hair shine. So I use this product quite a bit. Um, I'm actually like almost out. I use this on my clients who have natural hair if I need to press out someone's hairline with hair extensions or if I'm doing just a press and curl. So you guys can see I use this quite a bit and I have to replace it quite often. All right, next up, I'm showing you all like my old school stuff. So next up is something called Kimi Oil. Kimi Oil is a all natural oil and I use this for a variety of things. So I use it on my clients if you are natural or relaxed. This is really good for when you are heat styling the hair again. It helps to provide a lightweight shine to the hair, but it doesn't weigh the hair down. So I use this on everybody's. Um, most of the time when I'm using this, I use it when the hair is already dry. So if they're roller set or blow dry, I usually add a couple drops to the hair when the hair is already dry. So again, I use this to add shine to the hair, to add moisture and nourishment to the hair. This does a lot of things. So I'm just going to read to you what it says on the bottle. Um, it's a shaving base. It's for braids and locks, hot oil treatments, styling and finishing. And that's what I use it for, styling and finishing the hair. So Kimi Oil is one of those products I've been using, honestly, since like the 90s. I know I'm aging myself, but... I've been using this for a very long time and if you were, were one of those people who had like a wash and wrap, you guys are familiar with Kimi Oil. Alright, next up I have my Twist and Lock Oil or Cream. I'm currently using the Mango Lime and this is a firm locking gel. So this is what I use with my clients who have locks or I'm doing two strand twists or um, coils with my fingers. I like to lock the hair with something that is a little bit loose. So it looks like a... Vaseline base. It's a clear product. Uh, I don't want to show you the bottle because it kind of got hair in it. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of hair in the bottle, but it's just it's really clear. Um, like I said, it has a Vaseline type of base, but it is oil based, so it doesn't weigh the hair down. It's not like a really hard alcohol based gel, so it is moisturizing to the hair. And again, I use this for my clients who are getting two strand twists, locks in their hair, and more. And again, this is called the Mango Lime Locking Firm Wax. Next up, everybody knows what this is. This is the Got To Be Hairspray. So I use Got To Be on my clients if I am doing ponytails, if I am doing, um, of course, if I'm laying like a frontal or a lace closure, I will use this, but this is hairspray everyone knows what um got to be glue is is a really strong hairspray if you don't so i don't have anything in here either this is had to replace it so yeah um next up is my hairspray that i use on majority of all my clients and i use this to hold the hairstyle i like to use this one because it is a flexible hold and it does not have a lot of alcohol in it this is by chi this is their Keratin Flex Finish Hairspray. So again, it has a flexible hold and it's not light and it does not make the hair too hard. So I'm able to spray a little bit of this on and if I need to restyle or if I just want to hold the style in place without it being too hard, this is what I would gravitate towards. So the leave-in conditioner that I use in the salon um, is called It's a 10 and this is what I use on my clients after I wash their hair. So after deep conditioners, after um, their hair is washed 
in deep conditions i will spray this on the hair it's a 10 does a lot of things and it says it's a 10 because it is designed to do 10 different things at once so i'm going to read off what they say repairs dry hair add shine detangles control frizz seals and protect hair color it does really well with hair color stops hair breakage prevents split ends creates silkiness enhances natural body flat iron and thermal protector so it does pretty much everything that it says that it does this is a pricier um leave-in spray but it works really well and i highly recommend it um i actually have another one that i highly recommend and let me get it for you <laughs> it's in the hallway guys i'll be right back <sighs> okay i'm back <laughs> so if you cannot find this one this is a salon grade product so if you can't find this one i highly recommend this one by cream of nature this is their argan oil from morocco strength and shine leave-in conditioner so i alternate between these two but if i'm in the salon and my clients are paying to get their hair done i like to use quality products so i try to use things that are salon grade and i will gravitate towards it's a 10. if i can't get my hands on it and i still want to give them some type of leave-in spray i will gravitate towards this one but they both work really well but this is what i use in the salon every day okay so next up we have the luster slick stick this is a wax stick and i use this on my clients if i am again trying to blend in natural hair with maybe hair extensions i like to use this as a thermal protectant this one is lighter than the curling wax that i showed you guys earlier and it's easy for me to kind of manipulate around the hairline or if i'm doing a hairstyle and they have flyaways i would tend to take this stick and i would just put it um, on those straight hairs and it will keep those hairs in place so, so this slick stick is a go-to for me i've had it for a while and i drop it all the time so it's like cracked and beat up <laughs> i drop everything in the salon so it's cracked and beat up but this is the slick stick that i like to use all right we'll do two at the, at the same time these are both scalp products so in my salon i work with clients who have a lot of scalp elements so people who have dandruff or excessive dandruff people who have psoriasis of the scalp eczema and support dermatitis so these are people who have a lot of dry itchy problems going on so with that i like to use products that help to soothe the scalp and heal the scalp so this first product is by design essentials it is their peppermint and aloe scalp tonic this works for a multitude of people so again my clients who have dry itchy scalp they love this because it's soothing and it just makes the scalp feel so much better my clients who i give hair extensions to they love this because it provides a soothing um, peppermint feel to the scalp this product penetrates the scalp and it's like soothing and it just feels really good so i use this on my clients who have locks who have braids if I'm doing any twisting, I'll do that as well. And then I also use this sometimes, depending on if they are getting a treatment for their scalp element, I will put this on first. I'll leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes with a plastic cap, and then I will rinse their hair. This will help to remove excessive um, dandruff and flakes and things like that in the scalp. So if you have like really large flakes and you put this product on, it will help to remove it. So I love this. And then... For those same types of clients, I like to use scalp oil or scalp grease. I am old school hairstylist, so I believe in greasing the scalp. Um, so one of the go-tos for me is by Care Care, and this is their Glossifier. This is a medicated scalp grease or oil. It has um, an aloe effect or menthol effect to it, so it is very invigorating on the scalp. Again, braids, twists, locks this feels so good on the hair and if you are just doing a protective style like i do a lot on my hair i will put this in my scalp maybe once or twice a week and it helps to keep my scalp flake free so again this is care care and this is their glossifier okay so we have two more products to go this product i'm not trying to be biased but this is the product that i use all the time this is my edge control this is my brand of edge control um, I use it every day, of course, and um, I don't have that much left in here, and I actually am sold out, but this is the edge control that I use. It's just called Edge Tamer, and, you know, edge control gives you that sleek effect when you're doing ponytails and straight hairstyles, or even if your hair is natural and you have braids and you just want to kind of give your hair a little bit of polish, you will apply this pomade around the hairline, and you can make lines, you can make designs, you can get as fancy as you want, or as minimalistic as you want. So this is just great to finish the hair with a sleek and nice style. 
Now this last product, <laughs> it's funny because I know people are like, what in the world? If you're like old school, you know what this is. This kind of like, what? But if not, I'm just going to explain it to you. This is the Carefree Curl. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm sorry. So this is the Carefree Curl Instant Activator. This is what they used um, in the 90s, even in the 80s, if you had a jerry curl. But the reason I like to use this is because I have clients who are natural and I feel that products that are dedicated to jerry curls provide such such a level of moisture and hydration like I just feel like you can't beat it so I like to use a lot of jerry curl products on my natural hair clients because it helps to activate the curl it helps to define their natural curls and it just works so well on two strand twists so the way that I like to use this product is if the hair is washed in the condition and I'm going to be doing a two strand twist or even a wash and go I will section their hair off apply a little bit of the moisturizer and some leave-in conditioner and I will use some setting lotion so I mix this product and I will twist if I'm doing locks um, I won't use this but more so if I'm doing two strand twist or if I'm doing finger coils I would like to use this product it defines the curls it also helps to hydrate the hair and you will just notice that the curls will just pop so I like to use this instant activator on my natural hair clients it works really well um, and yeah, and if you have a jerry curl, then of course, I'll use this as well. Okay, you guys, so that is going to complete today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I love showing you guys hair care products that I use, that I love, and that I trust. So if that's the type of content you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will be uploading new videos twice a week. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.